It's early morning just west of Charleston, Mississippi, and our hosts Dirt King and Charlie Ingram find themselves on the banks of the Tallahatchie River, the main fly zone for ducks and geese in the south. The guides at Hunter's Paradise Lodge are preparing the waters for what is sure to be another great hunt. Besides having 2,400 acres of land to manage, the area boasts several unique features. Through the 90s, roughly 85% of all the banded ducks taken were from Tallahatchie and nearby Quitman County. And here, the southern hospitality is unbeatable. We've been in business two years, and uh, we've been blessed with a lot of the people that we've got to meet from all over the country. Our biggest blessing has been our employees. Yeah. You including Jerome in there? Yes, sir. Oh, well, very I much so. I can tell you one thing, I can attest to the cooking is. Yeah, we, we, we've got a, we do, we've got a great bunch. When you walk in, we want you to feel like you're coming to you, you know, your grandmother's old house or mm -hmm. something like that. Mm -hmm. uh, kids 14 and under hunt free with us because we're very much involved with the youth. It's not uncommon to see several different species of ducks on this river, ranging from mallards to teal or even pintail. And on a morning like this, it's only a matter of time before the hunting really starts to heat up. Flybys get more frequent, and so does the shooting. Uh, I thought Charlie was going to get that pintail. That's pretty right pretty. there. You know what? That's pretty right there. It don't matter who you are. <laughs> I just soon shoot that heavy shot. Nine times out of ten, you ain't got to you ain't got to follow that duck down to one. Right. And, That's it. We named it Hunter Paradise for a reason. You can do anything you want to down here. You can quail hunt, you can dove hunt, you can duck hunt, you can goose hunt, you can deer hunt. Cool. If you want pen raised pheasants, we can do that too. We've got close to 3,000 acres here, and it's broke up into about four sections. Mm -hmm. And we try to set aside a place every year within that section that we do not hunt. Pintail! Pintail! You talk about a mixed bag today. Yeah. Shovel, teal, mallard, pintail. Yeah. Went up through. Yeah, we ain't nowhere near started. That's that single that buzzed down yonder and then come back. Oh, thing skipped over the water. Yeah. We got this new breed of ducks down here. We call them the water chickens. When it gets slow, we start hunting them. Water chickens? Yeah. yeah. It's a unique call. Well, this is the end of the first day hunting in Mississippi at Hunter's Paradise Lodge. And it is Hunter's Paradise it Lodge. Hunter's I mean, it is a hunting paradise. If you like to duck hunt, deer hunt, turkey hunt, just about any kind of hunting, Tim Gray and Jerome here can fix you right up. And the best part about it, they really love what they're doing. We want to thank CZ for bringing old Dirk and I these great shotguns and putting that heavy shot in them, but it really did a number on these ducks today. We harvested a lot of ducks. It's been really good. I want to give Tim here this Kershaw because he's got a lot of work to do this afternoon. Man, I, I, I know you've had one of these Kershaws before, haven't you? Yes, sir. And they are a fine, fine knife. And they hold an edge real well, so they go a long way on cleaning these ducks. That'll work, I guarantee you. If you can swap a Kershaw knife for a duck hunt like I just did, man, you have hit a home run. Let me tell you something. You've seen Charlie and I hunting on several continents hunting waterfowl, but believe me on this deal. Hunter's Paradise Lodge in Mississippi. You gotta make the play. If you love waterfowl hunting like we do, buddy, if you don't do it, you've completely lost your rock.